North Koreans cheered in the streets following their government's bold announcement of a first for the isolated nation. A successful test of a hydrogen bomb, many times more powerful than the atomic bombs Pyongyang has already developed. This man telling a reporter his heart is happy and he wants to dance. Pyongyang released photos of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signing the order for the test, while international monitors worked to determine the exact power of the blast. Signals were detected on uh, numerous seismic stations, and these signals were immediately made available to all of our member states. But by this afternoon, the White House was already undermining North Korea's claim. Uh, the initial analysis that's been conducted of the events that were reported overnight is not consistent with North Korean claims of a successful hydrogen bomb test. There's nothing that's occurred in the last 24 hours that has caused the United States government to change our assessment of North Korea's technical and military capabilities. Still, the detonation at an underground facility is the fourth by North Korea since 2006, all in gross violation of international law and prior nuclear agreements with the West. Most nuclear analysts share the administration's doubt that North Korea has developed an H-bomb. However, some are concerned that Pyongyang appears to be making worrisome progress in its nuclear program, including the possibility of advancements in building a device small enough to deploy on a missile. And North Korea has developed a missile capable of reaching as far as the west coast of the U.S. If you can add a little hydrogen isotope to your basic atomic bomb, you could have less material in it, make it smaller, and this would help North Korea fit it on the warhead of a missile. That's what they're going for. It doesn't look like they got there. North Korea's claim it tested a hydrogen bomb brought swift condemnation from around the world. This act is a profoundly destabilizing for regional security. North Korea's nuclear test is a serious threat to our nation's security and absolutely cannot be tolerated. Even China, North Korea's neighbor and closest ally, quickly denounced the test. After downplaying the nuclear threat for years, growing concern in Beijing over the program under North Korea's erratic and unpredictable leader. U.S. officials hope North Korea's largest benefactor will finally put the squeeze on Kim Jong-un and wants the U.N. Security Council to impose tough new sanctions. What we do want to see is a strong international response to this latest provocation um, uh, and unanimity in the international community uh, about uh, raising the stakes further on the, on the regime. But decades of sanctions have failed to curb the nuclear ambitions of three generations of North Korean leaders. President Clinton's 1994 agreed framework backfired and gave the North diplomatic cover to build a nuclear weapon. President Bush came close to a deal where Pyongyang would trade its nukes for aid and a peace treaty, but it didn't happen. President Obama came to office promising not to overreact to North Korea's nuclear antics, continuing sanctions until Pyongyang agreed to negotiate an end to its program. Instead, the U.S. focused on a nuclear deal with Iran, a more willing partner. In April, Iran agreed to robust curbs on its program. Meanwhile, three of North Korea's four nuclear tests have been launched since Obama took office. Critics label Obama's so-called strategic patience a recipe for diplomatic failure. Some new diplomatic policy options need to be put on the table. And my view is that a deal like Iran, similar, like we had before in the Bush administration, in exchange for food, fuel, lifting of some sanctions, they curb their nuclear weapons. But U.S. officials say the North Korean regime has shown no sign it is ready to talk. And that's why, Wolf, it's unclear what it would take to bring them to the table. For starters, the North has demanded to be officially recognized as a nuclear state. Today, the White House and State Department reaffirmed they will not and do not accept North Korea as a nuclear power, Wolf.
If confirmed, it's not the first time North Korea has tested a nuclear weapon, but this could be the most powerful one by far. Three previous tests, all clustered within a few kilometers of each other between 2006 and 2013, were of atomic bombs or A-bombs, and we know how strong they are. This is what U.S. forces dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 ultimately killing more than 200,000 people. But this test of what Pyongyang claims to be a hydrogen bomb takes things to a whole new level. The H-bomb is hundreds of times more powerful than an A-bomb. And here's why. Atomic bombs use a process called fission to split plutonium into smaller atoms, releasing massive amounts of energy. Now, hydrogen bombs use fusion. Instead of splitting big atoms, it combines small atoms like hydrogen. Essentially, it's two bombs in one, with the A-bomb working as a trigger for the H-bomb to release a much bigger nuclear punch. Now, if this was indeed an H-bomb, it would mark a major step forward in North Korea's nuclear capabilities and make the Hermit Kingdom much more of a threat.